Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Super excited for today's video. It is all about the new Tom Ford Soleil collection, plus two other products. I have a brand new eyeshadow quad from the Soleil collection, one of the new highlighters and the fragrance. Then the, the lipsticks didn't speak to me so much this time. So I went with two new matte liquid luxe uh, lipsticks that I'm excited to try out, okay? I'm gonna be pulling a look together, of course. I'm gonna be swatching for you guys and giving you some comparison swatches. So if you wanna see how this face came together, what this super cute thing is on my head, just keep watching and please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I appreciate it when you do. Now let's jump in. Okay guys, before we jump into this fun Tom Ford video, of course I have to talk about my Breezy Tea product of the day. I am rocking our Burnt Orange Boho Head Wrap. This is a brand new color for us that I absolutely love. I wore it because this whole F uh, Soleil collection is supposed to be, you know, uh, inspired by sunsets and the colors that that conjures up and um, the scent of the summer and all that stuff. So I thought this was a perfect color for this video. Long piece of stretchy fabric, fashion it into any style you want, dress them up, dress them down, wear them to work out, hang out, go out, date night, whatever you've got going on, we have uh, enough colors that there'll be something there for everyone. So if you wanna check out any of our boho head wraps, just visit us at breezytea.com or our Etsy shop. Links will be in the description below. Okay guys, so we've got a lot to get into. I'm really excited about this. This is the Tom Ford Soleil Faux, not Faux, Faux. The new Tom Ford Soleil Faux collection, okay? French is trying to get the best of me and I won't let it. So I, just, I just will not let it. This is the fun gold packaging that is completely anti-fingerprint, reflective, but fun. Love this gold packaging. The boxes are also gold, okay? This is the one for the fragrance. We'll get into that in a second. So we've got a lot of gold going on. Gold bronze, it's a bronzy gold, okay? It's like a bronzy gold going on here. So we, they've set the theme for the summer nicely. Now I went ahead and I grabbed uh, the 30 mil fragrance. I got all of these things on sale, which really makes me happy. You really have to search, guys. Always search before you purchase. So I got a really good deal on uh, this 30 mil. Plus, I have a lot of fragrances, and getting big bottles of fragrances is just not my thing if I can help it. So I know this will last me a nice bit, okay? And I have one of the two new eyeshadow quads. This one is Island Haze. Now I'll be giving you a comparison swatch with the last Tom Ford um, eyeshadow quad that I got, eye color quad that I got, so we'll be seeing how they compare. Uh, the second one has more of a pink uh, color story, but I thought that one matched Hazy Sensuality, the pink one that I just got as well, um, too, too closely. I thought it was too close, and so I went with Island Haze. I grabbed the new highlighter in Oasis 02. So there are two of these as well. This one was like the darker, the bronzier of the two. The other one looked a little more gold. So I'm excited to see how this one looks on. And then two products that are not from the Soleil collection. However, they are new-ish, okay? New for Tom Ford. And the first ones that I'm going to try out these, I got two Liquid Lip Lux Matte uh, lipstick. One in Lark and one in Mind Blown. So I'm excited to end the video trying on these lip products. Okay, so here is the packaging for uh, the fragrance, the Eau de Parfum. And uh, I did get, again, the 30 mil. I mean, listen, like I just said, there's a lot of, there are a lot of fragrances out there and I would rather have smaller bottles and get more scents that I like than have spend the amount of money some of these scents cost. So when I can get a smaller one, I will go for the smaller one just because, okay, I don't need a bigger one. And, ooh, this smells good just opening the cap. There's a really nice, oh. Let's read what they're, no, let me spray it. Let me spray it. Now I have not, I, they have a sample, but I know. I know guys, I know I'm going to, I did come with a sample, but I know I'm going to love this fragrance. So let's go right in with the uh, the spray, okay? And I immediately, ooh, it's spicy immediately, oh, it's sweet and spicy immediately, immediately on me. 
sweet and spicy. I'm going to say there's something fresh in there. There's something green and fresh. I'm going to, I, I'm, I'm pretty good with scents and picking things up. For my nose on me, it's almost like a, a fresh cucumber. It's very strange. That's what I'm getting. There's a green freshness to it. It is very um, reminiscent of like a, a, a cucumber that you just cut into, but then those spices are there too. So those are the two things that I'm picking up initially. I don't know about you, but spices are a thousand percent linked to memories for me. So oftentimes when I smell of a spicy um, fragrance, it reminds me of the inside of a church. So I'm picking a little of that up too. But off the bat, I'm getting that, I'm getting spice, and I'm getting that fresh green something in there that for me smells like a cucumber that has just been sliced. So let's see what they're saying about it. I'm going to check back in at the end of the video, see how this progresses and see if I uh, can smell any new things going on. But for now, let's see what they're saying about it. Here's what I will tell you off the bat. It smells damn good if that wasn't clear as I was talking about what I'm smelling. It smells so good. It smells so, so good. Okay, the amber woody scent evokes the molten sun descending in a burnished blaze over the sea, painting the sky with fiery strokes of bronze solar light. Now, if anybody has the scent, tell me if that's, if, if it, if that's what you got from it, did you did you get the the painting the sky with the fiery strokes of bronze solar light? I'm not getting any of that. I'm getting just yummy goodness. That's what I'm getting, okay? I do love a, a fancy description, okay? I, I love descriptive words. I love the over-the-top descriptive words and beauty, but I'm just getting a beautiful scent. Soleil de Feu is a smoldering amber woody scent evoking sunset light. It is the most sensual expression of soleil. Okay, so the family is warm and spicy. I love a warm and spicy scent. I love a warm and spicy scent. Amber, woody, love. Key fragrance notes, tuberose, sandalwood, and benzoin. Okay, so maybe that's some of the, the sweetness that I was picking up. Might have been the tuberose. Uh, sandalwood, I'm getting the spiciness of the, of the sandalwood, the benzo. So the, the, uh, now I'm backing up what I'm, what I'm experiencing, but that green is still out here. I may have to check another site just to see if there's a, there's a, there's a note there that I'm getting that's not written here. I got to check that out, but that's where we are now. Okay. That's what's going on in this fragrance. Beautiful off the bat. I can't wait to see how it develops. Okay, so this is the eye color quad that I grabbed, Island Haze, again, unswatched, and I'm about to get my swatch on. Okay, let's see what these look like swatched. Here are the colors. This first one here is close to my skin tone. So nice. Those two um, mattes are creamy. They blend really easily. They swatch really easily, and um, they're, they're so soft. And the shimmers, nice amount of color on the shimmer, particularly, that, particularly the gold one. A, a nice amount of shimmer there and just easy to swatch. I'm looking for them to be easy on the eyes. Color story, I think I heard people, I think I've, I've seen comments maybe that it doesn't look like summer. It absolutely looks like the sunset to me and summer doesn't look like one thing. So uh, sunsets that I get in New York growing up are probably not gonna look the same as a Botswana uh, sunset. So sun, su sunset and summer, don't look the same everywhere. So this to me looks like the flaming, everything they said, that flaming sunset. I think these colors evoke it perfectly and beautifully. Let's play with these shadows on the eyes.
Okay, so this was fun. They all blended out easily. There's nice pigmentation there. I'm going to say this. Um, the two oranges wear pretty close to each other. So that's the only thing I showed. Here are the swatches here. They wear pretty close to each other. So that's the problem. Maybe the only thing I would change here. Pick a color that's a little bit uh, more different. Maybe a peach. A peach color would have been nicer here. This this reads as like a nice burnt orange. It's not reading on me like a peach. It's a it's a it's giving me the strength of a nice burnt orange. So I feel like if this orange was going to be the shimmer version of a burnt orange, maybe a um, peach, a lighter color would have been nice here. That's the only thing I would say, but I think it's very pretty. I do completely get the whole sunset thing. What I like is these kind of shimmers are not falling out. They're staying, right, like those creamy shimmers, they're staying right where I put them, and I really, really appreciate that, so there's no fallout. And I just think that it's a nice palette. It's a nice, it's a nice palette. The colors are ones we've seen before, so I'm not sure if people are gonna, you know, run out or need to run out and get them if, you, if you're not excited about the uh, color story. But I do think it's very pretty. It is like that burst of orange. You've got that gold of a sunset, a nice vibrant sunset. So that's what they've gone for. I feel like they've achieved that. Let's get to these comparison swatches. Okay, so this is Peach Dawn, okay? Now this is a wet dry formula. So off the bat, it's a different formula. So if you like the different formulas, that's gonna be the big difference. Here they are together, okay? On me, they're not the same. They're not the same shades. They are, the two oranges are very, very similar. This one here, this dark, dark, almost like a dark corally orange, and the shimmer one are close together. But the um, the other ones are not the, sh the same. They are more peachy, and that's what I was thinking. This is missing like maybe a peachy color here, but here you go, okay? Similar-ish color stories, not exactly the same. There's a peachiness to each one of the Peach Dawn shades, whereas this is like a gold gold. Uh, this is an orange um, orange with a goldy uh, shift maybe to it. So I feel like this is more orange forward. This is more peach forward. But if it's too similar for you, okay. I just wanted to show you again completely different formulas, so that's also something to consider. I will show them to you in the pan. So this is Island Haze, the one that I just tried out. Here we have Peach Dawn. Oh, and I just wanted to check in with the fragrance. It smells fantastic still. It lost the, um, it lost that green freshness that I initially got, and now it's settled into that sandal with that spiciness. I'm left with a lot of really nice, spiciness, not as sweet as it was. There wasn't that sweetness, but it's still there. It's just a bit more subdued, but the spice and the sweetness, it just is a really pleasant, pleasant amber uh, fragrance. Really, really pleasant, okay? And before I go any further, I wanna remind you that I will always have swatches on my Instagram page a couple of days after uh, one of my videos goes live here on YouTube, okay? And uh, they'll be in sunlight, they'll be video and um, photo swatches. And I will even put up for this one, I'll put the two comparison swatches that I show you today. I'll have these next to each other so you can see them and gauge uh, for yourself. Um, but yeah, come follow me on Instagram, stop by my Instagram so you can see the swatches and all everything else I have going on over there. I have two blushes, I think that's it from Tom Ford and neither of them are in this orangey color uh, family. So I'm going to take this color here and use it as, so I'm gonna take this color here and use it as a blush. So let's see how this wears, here it is on the brush and if we can, make this work for the video's sake, okay? Sometimes you'll do this with an eyeshadow and it's a little tough to blend, it's not as soft. This is working nicely and I just, again, I didn't have anything from the brand that would match sort of this color story before we get the um, uh, highlighter on. And I do, I'm wearing a face a lot of different things from Tom Ford and other products. 
today. So this is the perfect time to um, remind you that everything that I'm wearing on my face, things that I feature and things I don't will always be in the description below. There will be some affiliate links. So if you're gonna buy it anyway, I appreciate it if you choose to use one of my links, okay? I really do. But yeah, I just wanted to mention that everything that I'm wearing will be down there. So I won't always talk about, or the videos would be longer than, I don't need a reason to talk more, okay? So listing everything would just prolong the video. So yes, this worked out perfectly as a blush. Now let's get to this highlighter. Okay, so this is the Soleil de Feu Glow Highlighter in Oasis 02. There is a second one, here is the swatch. Okay, beautiful, beautiful shade. It's giving more bronze than gold, which is why I got it. Um, I'm gonna use a super duper, what always looks like a super flimsy brush, but uh, gives a nice amount of what I need it for. Little highlighter, let's see if it works with this one. If not, I will switch uh, brushes. But I don't want to. I don't want to do too much. I can see it on my skin already. Okay. See that beautiful, beautiful glow. I love this brush. It just picks up. It's a Koyudo brush. It just picks up a a nice amount of product without doing too much. Beautiful, beautiful glow we've got going on without doing too much very very pretty and i could have used this in the like the brow bones for the eyeshadows or the tear ducts um that would have worked really really nicely too look at that really really pretty now you can keep going and if yours is you know if you like a a lot of glow you can build it up as you see fit. I'm going to leave mine here. Okay, got it on both sides. I need a different one for the nose because that'll just be problematic for no reason. Let me see if this one will do it. Interestingly, this looks like nothing's getting picked up, but I know it is. Okay, there we go. Nice little bronzy situation. Listen, this collection is gonna get you warm weather ready. It's giving those colors, it's giving those finishes, nice glows, really, really nice uh, situation here. Very, very pretty. I am loving this highlighter and I think it matches everything we have going on. So we're three for three for the Fu Soleil collection. And I told you about the little thing I would change in the eyeshadow. That's 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 it, but it's wearing very, very pretty. Let's get to these lip products. Okay, so just quickly, here's a comparison swatch of the Oasis highlighter. So here's the Oasis one here. I thought this would be a closer match, which is good, it's not. This is the Chanel uh, Eclat Lunaire uh, or Rose, okay? So Rose Gold one, here they are together. Okay, I thought they might match up a bit better than they do, but they this is a rose gold. It's a completely different shade from Chanel. And then we have this one from Tom Ford. Okay, there you go in the light. That's what these two looks like look like. And again, I will uh, do a comparison swatch of these two for my Instagram page. So we're gonna start with the brightest one first because I feel like the second one, Lark, the one, first of all, I was most excited about that one. Um, we'll match this look better. So we'll get this one out the way, so to speak. Uh, this is, so the Liquid Lip Luxe Matte in Mind Blown, okay? I always love when you can see the colors in the packaging. Here is Mind Blown Swatch. Beautiful, beautiful shade. Let's get this on the lips. Here is Lark. I'm so excited about this shade. 
Here it is swatched. It's giving plummy rose, plummy brown goodness. Ooh, 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 I'm so excited to get this on. Let's try it out now. Guys, the most beautiful lip product. These feel like air. They're so deceptively lightweight. Like it feels like nothing's happening. You're putting it on and I'm like, this is too. So they're just so lightweight. It feels like nothing's on my lips. I get why people really enjoy these lip products and the, the pigmentation is beautiful. Lark, I was hoping and the pictures, the pictures did me, did me right because I was hoping it looked like this and it does and it's beautiful and it's up my alley and I can wear it with so many things. So, so, so fun. Mind Blown is just a brighter, a brighter color, but just as beautiful, feels just as nice. It dries down in a, a, a second, a second. This is what's going on now. There's nothing coming off. Beautiful, beautiful lip product. I get it. And I think I got about 20% off this one. I think I got 20% off the um, highlighter too. So like I said, everything and the, the eyeshadow palette, uh, the same. I think I got maybe $15 off. Uh, so yeah, I got a nice a nice discount on all these things. And everything really is, is it turned out really nice. I, I really like it. I like everything that I've tried out. Um, I have no real complaints. Even the orange thing that I mentioned is not really a complaint. And I'm going to play with the gold more, uh, uh, next time I use it and, and work the orange in, in a different way so I can get maybe a bit more, uh, balance and not so much orange, but that would be the one thing I change. I think it's a beautiful highlighter, really nice color, uh, becoming a, my skin tone will look really, really nice. Um, on other skin tones as well. Again, the other one looks more yellow, uh, gold. Uh, so if that's your thing, you might want the other one. This is giving a bit more bronze, okay? Worked beautifully too, the, the, the eyeshadow as a, a blush. I um, checked it out in the mirror. And then this guy, beautiful, 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 beautiful scent. This is completely up my alley and um yeah I nothing nothing uh, has changed since the last time I checked in which is that freshness of the the cucumber that I was smelling the greenness that I was smelling has dissipated but the sweetness and the spiciness is left behind and it just smells really pleasant I'm excited to see what it's like in a few more hours to see where I am at the end of the night um and how it smells but really really beautiful spicy amber scent so if that's your thing i you, you i think you might enjoy this one okay so those are my thoughts really really pretty really really nice finished look and um yeah it's over to you let me know what you think are you going to get anything from this year's soleil collection did you get anything already what are you thinking did you pick up the lip products do you love them do you have the scent let me know what you're thinking and if you have these matte lipsticks, and I know a lot of people do, let me know what your favorite shades are, okay? And of course, as always, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I appreciate it when you do. And a big shout out to the person who left a comment telling me I looked 25 the other day. I love it. I don't agree. It's not true, but I love it and I'll take it. So thank you very much. And if you want to check out any of our boho head wraps, any of our t-shirt hair towel wraps, sandline beanie, sandline knit beanie, scrunchies, uh, headbands, and all our other hair accessories, you can visit us at breezytea.com. If you want to check out any of our luxury lifestyle accessories, you can visit us at fraybybreezytea.com. I will check you guys in the next video. Ciao for now. Bye.